Okay, for this question, we are given a fraction equals to a fraction over here, and we are asked to evaluate 21 to the power of x. Now, can you see that I have number 49 here, 9 here, 3 and 7. Okay, we have to be sensitive towards numbers. An indication tells us that 49 is actually 7 square, and 9 is actually 3 square. Alright, so I start off the question by writing down the question first. And we are asked to find 21 to the power of x. So using the law of indices, I can actually split my 21 to be 3 times 7. And this is actually 3 to the power of x multiplied by 7 to the power of x. So bear in mind that 21 to the power of x is actually 3 to the power of x multiplied by 7 to the power of x. So the first step is to always change all the base to 3 and 7. Alright, so for this case, I have to change 49 to be 7 square, 9 to be 3 square. Alright, so then I use my law of indices. I can multiply my power over here. So I get 4x plus 2 and at the bottom I get 4 minus 2x. So for the next step, I actually cross multiply. So when I cross multiply, when my two base are the same, I can actually add my power. Two base is the same, I can add my power over here. Alright. So at this particular step, so now we are at this step over here. Then so I can now split it up again. So 7 to the power of x plus 3, I can split it up to 7 to the power of x multiplied by 7 to the power of 3. Likewise, 3 to the power of negative x plus 4, I can split it up to 3 to the power of negative x multiplied by 3 to the power of 4. So now I try to make 7 to the power of x my subject first. So I bring my 7 over 3 to the other side. So from multiply, it becomes a divide. Alright? And bear in mind that 3 to the power of negative x over here is actually 1 over 3 to the power of x. Because negative x in this case, I can't really do much about it. But when I change it to 3 to the power of x, I can do something about it later. So I can rewrite this particular step to be this. Because 3 to the power of negative x is actually 1 over 3x. So now, I can bring this to the left hand side, it becomes 7 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x, and later you can see that it's actually 21 to the power of x. And over here, I have 3 to the power of 4 divided by 7 cubed. Use your calculator and you will be able to get 81 divided by 343. 